My name is Michael Sears. I'm the general manager for Riddles. Okay, and right here we're looking at um, plans for Riddles to actually expand. And now I'm going to ask you to just sort of give me a little mini sure, tour of the store. On. That's okay, yeah. great. As you come into the store here, this is one of our key areas, which is produce. Okay. Uh, this is one of the key areas that we're actually looking to expand upon uh, to provide more variety, have more yeah, organic, and really yeah. just have more room for our customers to be able to come in and uh, shop comfortably and be able to really kind of take their time and pick out the right product. Um, as you come down here, of course, we have our um, aisle with our Tide and our households. Uh, this carries all of our uh, products for cleaning and dog food, cat food. Uh, you also have uh, your paper towel, toilet paper. Uh, but we have our dressings and our, our condiments here. We have our coffee and then down the end we have our we have, chips. We have like dairy and stuff yeah, over, over here. Over here we have our frozen. Okay, so this is all of our ice cream. And then as you come down, you have all of your other frozen products, frozen cakes, frozen pies. You have your frozen vegetables. Great. Um, and as you come down here, of course, frozen pizzas and all of the, uh, the meals that you can take home and heat up in the microwave. And then dairy, here's another one that we're looking to expand upon. Great. Uh, this is our dairy section. Yep. As you can see, we use, again, every space that we can. Yeah. Uh, but we're looking to expand upon that for our customers, give them more room, yep. uh, newer, cooler, so that uh, we have all of our products on a good display. And um, you know, so this will be another section that we look to expand. And then over here is our rotisserie chicken. That's great. Um, yeah, good. so we'll continue with that. And then you have our deli and meat, which we're also very known I for. I love the girls who work here. They are the best team. They're so nice. Oh, thank friendly. you. Yes, we, oh, we no, have a great team this. of people. Um, again, more of the meat and deli section. Great, and fresh breads. And you and got yeah. your breads. And, and again, this is all fresh every day we put this out. All this meat. This all the meat is cut fresh every day, and it's packaged fresh. That's uh, great. And we put it out every day, every morning. Excuse Along me. with our baker, Adrian. <laughs> Hi. She also uh, bakes every day and puts out all the fresh muffins and breads and uh, pastries. And, and there's even fresh flowers. We have fresh flowers and that's another area that we're looking to expand upon. Okay. We're actually going to have off the front of the store, yeah. almost like a greenhouse type uh, environment uh, going out the front door. Let's go out there and check yeah, it out. Is that okay? Let's outside. go out. Sure. Yeah. So as you come out here, Kathy, what yeah. we would do is we'd have like a doorway coming out through the inside. Okay. And we would have like a greenhouse and you can see it in our our expansion yeah, pictures, yeah. uh, almost like a greenhouse that would come off the front here. Okay. It would be very attractive looking to the eye. Right. And you'd be able to come in and get your flowers and your right. potting soil and any of the It would be seasonal. actually kind of enclosed yeah, so that you can enclosed. go all, all year round. Exactly. And it would come down at a slant. It would look aesthetic with the building That's and great. with the town, of course, so that it looks real nice. Okay. Now, how about the front of the building? Is that going to change at all? Yeah. Or? The front of the building, what we're thinking of doing with the front, Sort of like Antasket Ave has the the wooden type feel across the street here sure, yeah. with the overhanging lights that are non-invasive coming down in front of the building. Okay. We're going to look to align and, and match up aesthetically with that look. Okay. So that the look of Riddles will also be the same going right down the wall here. Okay, And great. then going into the lot where we're going to expand, which is where that So this is the comes. lot we're going to expand into Correct. right along the way here. Okay, let's Correct. go over here. This is where the store space we got. Okay. Uh, it's about it's gonna be about forty five hundred to five thousand square feet. Okay. Okay. It's an empty lot as you can see now. Right. It's already dug out so we are gonna have a basement. And then basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna carry this over so that it, it covers our lot here with that forty five to five thousand square feet. Right. We'd have two breakthroughs through the wall, one where you saw the produce. Yeah. You'd have a breakthrough going there. Okay. And then the other one down the far end where the frozen and dairy is, you'd have almost like an exit coming out there. We would move the frozen a bit and uh, some things would ship, but that would allow for that extra space that we need. So it'd be like having a full size supermarket right here in home. Exactly. That's Still with a small enough to care about you fair though. Now, just to be fair, I know that there are some people who had concerns on Kingsley Road. Yes. What is let me it? show you. Yeah, okay, let me yeah, show let's, you. Okay, yeah, let's see what that is. Come on out back. Here we would correct the drainage problem. One of the main concerns has been some of the water coming from Nantasket Ave. Okay, so it comes through, through the, the parking area. There. Yep. And then actually coming through, some of it is caught in the catch basin, but a lot of it still makes its way through the parking lot and out onto Kingsley. Okay, where so, residents live. Right, okay. so what we're looking to do is we're looking, we had an engineer come in okay. and they're going to put an all new upgraded drainage system so that all of the water that comes through our property on Nantasket or comes through here onto uh, riddles would yeah. be caught through this upgraded 
water system, water drainage system. So it would be the state of the art. Uh, there would be catch basins okay. and uh, it would be all paved. Okay. So you'd have paved. So this would be a paved parking lot. And do you have this parking lot and this parking lot? Yeah, we have here? both of these here. Okay. And as you can see over to the right, that's where the expansion so that's where from the a, is going to actually take place. From so the, the building. Okay. Correct. And then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to, like I said, do that drainage system. We're going to have it paved. We're going to have landscaping so that in the middle, we're going to have an entrance coming in. Yeah. And then you're going to have an exit going out that way. Okay, so and the exit goes up. Over, yep, okay, you. yep. Um, and we're going to have so that it's all landscape. We're going to try to keep a lot of the trees that are here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then as the exit comes out, out on the front area there, we're going to put an attractive sidewalk so that for children or people walking to the store, there'll be a nice looking sidewalk out in the front along with some shrubs and some flowers and some mulch. And then we also had a traffic study done uh, separate from really from riddles because this is really only used for employees now okay. we felt with the complaints of the traffic issue mm -hmm. that having the traffic study done that that we contributed to mm -hmm. uh, we could present something to the chief of police to help improve uh, the traffic and maybe the speeders on Kingsley so we're okay. actually trying to help the community we think that it's a valid concern yeah. and by having this traffic study done this will really allow for uh, the proper procedures to be followed when it comes to slowing people down and really um, honoring the neighbors here from a, a traffic stand. What's going to happen with the parking lot that's currently the main parking lot out front right now? That'll stay a, a main parking area. Mm -hmm. That is a community parking area. Okay. Um, so that'll stay the way it is. Uh, we will still encourage our, our customers that are more than welcome to park there. Okay. Uh, they will have an opportunity to park back here, but this will still remain uh, employee parking as well. Okay. And then we will also have so that uh, it's very limited dumpsters for just recyclables that will okay. be over way in the far corner, over fenced in, okay. so that none of the neighbors over here mm -hmm. will, will see any type of trash or garbage. Okay. Uh, those issues will be corrected actually from uh, some of the concerns that have brought up from the past. How many square feet exactly will that will it add? It's going to add uh, 4,500 square feet of floor that's space. Great. We will also have the basement, so that's going to be taken into consideration more for internal use. And um, it's really going to be a great addition. Like I said, still keeping that small feel, yet providing great products, great prices, and really being a, a real good citizen in the community to try to honor some of the concerns around the community as well.